Hey everyone, Shark here, and I wanted to make this video because I've been getting a lot of questions about whether it's better to pull for Nuvolet right now, or wait for Arlecchino. Both are phenomenal on-field damage dealers, but they are also widely different, and it's important to know which is right for you, so you don't end up wasting your precious Primo gems on a character that you don't end up enjoying as much as you'd hoped. And now that we've gotten to see what Arlecchino can do from the 4.6 livestream, let's talk about her strengths and weaknesses, and then we'll compare her to Nuvolet. I'm also working on a video comparison of all the 5 stars coming in patch 4.6 and which is the best for you, so be on the lookout for that. But since we're still in patch 4.5, let's talk about if you should go for Nuvolet while he's still around, or if you should save for Arlecchino. I'll first give you a brief description of Nuvolet, then dive into Arlecchino's kit and simplify it as much as possible. Then I'll let you know who is best for you. With that said, don't forget to place your fin on that like button and sub to the channel as it really does help out a ton. I'm assuming a lot of people know what Nuvolet does already, but if you don't, the short and simple version is that he is an on-field hydro damage dealer that turns into a fire hose to Kamehameha his enemies down with a special charged attack. He creates orbs with his elemental skill and burst, and then absorbs those orbs to get into this special charge attack state much faster. What makes Nuvolet really good is that his damage scales off his max HP, so the greater his total health, the more damage he does, and this also makes him a less squishy damage dealer. He also ends up hitting really hard, he's very mobile, and he has really good range for his attacks. So Nuvolet's pretty simple, but I know a lot of people are confused about Arlecchino's kit, so let me help simplify it. Arlecchino is an on-field pyro damage dealer who uses her skill to mark enemies, then uses a charge attack to absorb those marks, giving herself a bond of life, and then gets a pyro infusion on her normal attacks and a big normal attack multiplier. You end up using a bunch of normal attacks, and then you use her elemental burst at the end of her rotation to reset everything. So if you want the quick and simple way to play Arlecchino, you first start off by using her elemental skill, and then you switch off of her, and you switch into the rest of your team to use their abilities, then you switch back into Arlecchino, used a charge attack, and then used normal attacks for several seconds, and then you end with her burst and repeat. Now this summary does not explain how she works or give crucial details like the fact that she cannot receive healing except from one source, so let's go over exactly how she works so you have a better understanding of her. Arlecchino's damage is heavily focused on her normal attacks, so keep in mind that even though her kit may sound complex, she's basically just a normal attacking damage dealer with a bunch of extra steps. Her skill deals AoE pyro damage and applies a mark called Blood Debt to each enemy it hits. When you use Arlecchino's Charged Attack on enemies with this Blood Debt mark, Arlecchino will gain a Bond of Life. Arlecchino gains more Bond of Life the longer the enemies are marked, so it's in your advantage to wait a few seconds after using her skill before you use her Charged Attack. And this is the perfect time to use other characters' abilities. The Bond of Life mechanic has been around for a while, but in case you're unfamiliar with it, it is a status effect that is essentially another health bar that surrounds your current health bar. Whenever you're healed, the Bond of Life will receive the healing instead of you, and once you do enough healing, the Bond of Life disappears. Usually, you want to heal the Bond of Life in order to clear it off of you as fast as possible, because this mechanic is usually accompanied by a nasty debuff if it's applied by an enemy, or it can also give you a buff when removed, like with the Fontaine craftable weapons. Except this is where Arlecchino diverges from a lot of the in-game mechanics, because she actually wants you to keep the Bond of Life, and she even prevents you from receiving any healing except for from one source, so you couldn't even remove the Bond of Life if you wanted to, but more on that in a bit. So Arlecchino receives a Bond of Life, which is created by using a charged attack after using her elemental skill. When that Bond of Life is above 30% of her max HP, she gains Pyro Infusion and a powerful multiplier on her normal attacks. 
This buff applies only to her normal attacks, and the Pyro Infusion cannot be overridden. Each normal attack Arlecchino does in this enhanced state will reduce her Bond of Life, and remember you want to keep it above 30% so that she can continue to deal more damage, and her normal attacks will also reduce the cooldown of her elemental skill, though not by very much. And while Arlecchino cannot receive any healing in the state, she will heal when she uses her elemental burst. Her burst deals pyro damage and clears all of the Bond of Life, and then heals her based on how much of the Bond of Life was cleared. It also gives her another bonus heal based on the percentage of her attack. This burst also resets the cooldown of her skill, allowing you to use it again immediately afterwards. So Arlecchino's elemental burst offers her a lot of utility, and makes her rotations more fluid. But it also makes them adaptable to your team. You can play her on field for a really long time if you want to, like 30 seconds or more. Or you can play a much shorter time on field, like 8 to 10 seconds. Her rotations can have a wide degree of variability based on your team composition, and that's where things get a lot more nuanced. I know at this point it seems like Arlecchino's kit is very complicated when it's explained, but luckily when you see it visually, it makes a lot of sense and it seems pretty fluid. Just remember the simplified rotation is to use her elemental skill to hit and mark enemies, then switch to other characters and use their abilities, then switch back into Arlecchino and used a charged attack to get that bond of life from the marked enemies, and then just normal attack a bunch and use her elemental burst as a finisher. So how does Arlecchino compare to Nouvellette, and who is better for you? Well, to be perfectly honest, it really comes down to how you want to play. Nouvellet is a powerhouse, he's pretty free to play friendly, and relatively easy to play as well. His teams are not particularly restrictive, and he's pretty forgiving in rotations as long as you don't get knocked out of your special charged attack. Arlecchino is a bit different, her rotations are surprisingly flexible, but you have to be very cognizant of what you're doing. A player who doesn't pay attention will probably have a bad time using Arlecchino, but one who knows how to use her will make her seem overpowered. In this way, she's similar to Alhatham, who's a very strong damage dealer, but also one that requires you to know how to play him well if you really want good results. Nouvellet is very good when fighting one enemy or multiple enemies, and while Arlecchino is going to be pretty strong against one enemy, she's really going to shine in AoE situations. This is because Arlecchino's Blood Debt Mark will hit multiple enemies in an AoE situation, and then when she uses a charged attack, it will give her more Bond of Life compared to if she just hits a single enemy. And since her Pyro Enhanced State uses up the Bond of Life, using Arlecchino in AoE situations is like giving her more special meter to use her more powerful attacks for longer. In terms of the number of strong teams that you can run with Nouvellet and Arlecchino, Nouvellet has a little bit more team flexibility, and interestingly, Arlecchino's teams are actually more closely related to Yoimiya's team compositions than to Hu Tao, who she is inevitably going to be compared with. Generally, you're going to want to play Arlecchino in a Vaporize team with Xingqiu or Yulan, a Chevrous Overload team, a Yunjin Normal Attack Buffing team, a Mono Pyro team, and she also benefits heavily from Zhongli if you want to run a more comfortable playstyle. Running Zhongli or another shielder with Arlecchino does drop your damage significantly, but that may be worth it because Arlecchino is very fragile and she could get knocked out very, very easily. Nouvellet doesn't have quite the same weakness because if you run a shielder like Zhang Li, as long as you have three different elements in the team outside of Hydro, then Nouvellet is actually gaining damage on his charge attack, and that will help make up for some of the damage loss that you would get by running a fully offensive team instead of using a shielder with Nouvellet. So when deciding between Nouvellet and Arlecchino, it's not really a decision about who is the better damage dealer, because they're both really good. What it comes down to is your preferred playstyle. Do you want a little bit more freedom for movement, range, a little bit of leniency on rotations, and a good mix of single target and AoE potential? Well, the Nouvellet is for you. But if you prefer a character who requires more micromanagement with the upside of lots of damage, and a ton of opportunities for skill expression, but with the risk of being very squishy, 
Arlecchino is a better choice for you. Another way to think about these two is like fantasy archetypes from other games. Nouvellet is a mage. He wants to stay at max range from the enemies while channeling spells for very high damage. If the enemies approach him, he retreats, but still channels his attacks at the enemies, kiting them around, because if they catch him, well, he's going to be in trouble. Arlecchino is like a rogue, extremely high potential for damage, but also very fragile. Instead of armor or defense, she relies on dodging, movement, and timing to keep her in the fight so she can continuously deal damage to enemies. And the main difference between these two archetypes is how much skill it takes to play them. Mages are usually very strong without needing an incredible amount of skill. So even a brand new player with Nouvellet will be pretty effective with him. Rogues can be insanely good, but they require a much higher degree of skill and new players may think they are OP only to realize that it's actually pretty hard to replicate what they've seen other players do. Likewise, Arlecchino will be very strong, but most of her strength will come from the player, not solely from her talent scaling. For these reasons, I recommend people go for Arlecchino if they want more challenging gameplay that requires them to really understand their characters and think and act on the fly. Arlecchino is a good choice for you if you like characters who are more punishing if you mess up, but reward you with more damage as your understanding and skill level grows. Playing Arlecchino in Genshin would be the closest thing we have to a Souls game in a single character, but not nearly as harsh. I recommend Nouvellet for players who don't want to learn fancy technical skills like invincibility framing just to survive, and want a more simplistic playstyle that is satisfying while still doing a lot of damage. There are times when you really have to think in the middle of combat with Nouvellet, but honestly most of the time you just keep hydroblasting until you win. As for other considerations, both characters have good free-to-play weapon options, Nouvellet has the prototype Amber, which is a craftable 4-star catalyst, and Arlecchino has the White Tassels, which is a 3-star spear. As I said before, Nouvellet has a little bit more flexibility when it comes down to teams, but he's also much less reliant on his supports compared to Arlecchino when it comes to really pushing their damage. Nouvellet feels pretty good even without really strong supports, whereas Arlecchino will just feel a little bit above average if she doesn't have the support she really wants. For these reasons, I personally think Nouvellet will be better for most players. Arlecchino requires more tech skill and a bit more restrictive team building to really shine, and she seems to be incredibly difficult to play on mobile. Nouvellet seems much easier to grasp for players, especially ones who are not aware or ready to learn how to play Arlecchino properly. When it comes to damage, both are very strong. Don't get any doubt about it, they're both really good damage to But Nouvellet has much easier access to his damage, while Arlecchino has to work harder to really shine. I hope this explanation of Arlecchino and comparison between her and Nouvellet has been helpful. Please let me know who you're going for in the comments below, and be on the lookout for my video about the upcoming 5 stars and their pull value for you. I love you all, stay jawsome, and I can't wait to see you in the next one.